Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you three different ways with items that you probably already have laying around your house how to anti-fog your eyeglasses. When you are wearing a mask or if you have kids in school, this will be super, super easy and help them learn and help you be on your merry way and not have to deal with all the fog that you have on your glasses. Now, do not waste your time with shaving cream, soap, or the sprays, the anti-fog sprays that you can buy commercially in the stores. Why? Because I've tried them and they do not work. So we have some glasses here. It says, Grandpa's Don't Throw Away. These are my father's glasses. This is a long story. I won't get into it right here. I like to clean and apparently glasses were one of them one day. So that's what's going on down here. So let's go ahead and put our mask on. This first one here is not gonna be the most attractive, but it's functional. I'm gonna show you an alternative way and then we're gonna dive into two more ways with things that you have already laying around your house. The goal here is we have to create a barrier between the moisture from your breathing and it coming up through the mask and then fogging up your glasses. So that's what we're gonna do. First things first, let me go ahead, put on these glasses like so. How do they look, you guys? <laughs> there we go. See, let's stop talking about who wants to work with dealing with something like this all day long. Get yourself some band-aids, okay? And again, this is not gonna be the most attractive, but we're gonna get to alternative ways. But if you are in a pinch and you are like, I'm so sick of these glasses fogging up, you don't really care about the attractiveness at that point. So this is what you're gonna do. Let me just flip these up for example right here. Take a band-aid, and I'm just gonna look at the viewfinder up ahead. Uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, you're gonna take your Band-Aid and you're gonna create a barrier from the moisture. If you had these in your car, in your purse, this would be super, super easy. Stick it to the mask and then you're gonna stick it to the top of your nose and this is gonna help keep some of that moisture in so that it does not seep up into your glasses and you can still breathe, that's the important part. See, I can talk like this. I don't have to worry about the moisture seeping up. We are not having any fogging issues. Now again, if you are not you know, interested in having this sort of thing going on, although people that wear glasses would probably totally understand this, let me flip you around and show you some alternative ways. These methods work with all of these masks, so it could also work with a mask like this. Anything works. Now, if you don't want the band-aid on the outside of your mask, I just have some two-sided tape. Now, I would not stick this to my face. This is probably not approved to be stuck to your skin. If you had surgical tape lying around, you could just take a piece of surgical tape to the top of the mask right here. Relatively cheap, you could probably order it online as well. But this is what I have lying around. So I'm just gonna take this two-sided tape and this is the part that I would stick to my face, but I want to stick it to the mask. And I know Band-Aids are approved for your skin and you could just stick it in there like that. And then it'll stick to your face and it will both stick to, it's very sticky you guys, very sticky. Get that on there just right and then you'll have it sticking. There you go, that's one alternative. Now, if you did not wanna use this method right here, or you could use fabric tape or painter's tape or anything that would stick to the outside of this mask. Again, these are approved for your skin, that's why I would use it, or surgical tape. Here's an al another alternative here for you. Most people have this laying around your house unless you've fallen prey to the shortage. We're gonna create a moisture barrier. I would probably just take about two pieces of this toilet paper right here. And we're just gonna take a little, kind of like a, make a makeshift sort of uh, cover. You can totally decide. But this is probably a good, good size that you would cover your nose right here. And I can flip you around at the end and show you what these would look like. Now this does stay in place pretty well, especially if your mask is tight enough to your nose. I haven't seen any people express discomfort with this falling into their nose, but again, if you were having that problem, just take some tape, stick it to the uh, both sides of the mask right here, and there you go. You got that with just a little bit of toilet paper laying around, and then you can change this out every so often as needed if you find that there's moisture collecting on here and it's causing you any discomfort. If you do not like the idea of using toilet paper on your face, just get yourself a nice box of Kleenex. You could also have something with like um, vapor or you know when you get a really bad cold and you have to use these often, they have um, nice lotion in there. It's very nice on your skin. So if I'm gonna take a fancy Kleenex like this, they're quite large, but again, I'm just gonna fold it to make somewhat of a, a rectangle of sorts. So we got our Kleenex right here. I'm gonna fold it in half. 
And I, I would probably, I have a smaller face. I would probably maybe cut it in half at this point right here. If you want it a little bit thicker, you could fold it again. And then depending upon whatever kind of mask that you're using, so for this example, you're gonna put it right up in your mask. This I think would be definitely too thick, so I would cut my Kleenex in half. Um, I do have some scissors right here. I can show you what I mean. And then you have it for multiple uses if you don't wanna be uh, wasteful. And this is excellent at grabbing that moisture that will pretend, that could potentially cause fog up in your glasses. So there we go, we got that. Put it in here and you are good to go. And it will not impact your breathing because it's just at the bridge of your nose uh, and the moisture collects in here and does not go into your glasses. Let me flip this around. I'll show you what this looks like in a mask such as this. We got our little tissue example right here. I do a ton of cleaning hacks on this channel. That's why I say don't waste your time with the anti-fog stuff that's out there. It does not work nearly as effective as a simple piece of toilet paper, a Band-Aid, or a simple piece of Kleenex right here. So let me just get, show you exactly what I mean. So we're gonna put this in my mask. It's just, again, it's just gonna be covering the bridge of your nose uh, right here. Tuck it in there. There we go. And again, if you're worried about it sliding up and down, um, the Kleenex, then you can just tape it in there. Use two sided tape, or again, just get a piece of surgical tape so that this part of the mask is flush with your skin. Go ahead and put our glasses on right here. Thanks dad for letting me use your glasses for the demonstration purposes right here. But you can see we're not having any fogging issues when we're talking, going about our merry day. The Kleenex, the toilet paper, whatever you're using is collecting that moisture and I can still breathe and talk as normal. Very nice. All right. If you are new here, make sure that you sign up for my weekly newsletter in the description box below where I teach you how to turn your passion into profit. And sometimes a cleaning channel like this can do just that. Thumbs up, subscribe. If you're interested in any fun cleaning hacks as it pertains to your toilet, your house, if there is a cleaning hack on the internet, I have probably tried it and give you my honest opinion on it. All those playlists are drink are, are drinked below, <laughs> are linked below in the description box. Take care, my friend.